Folks, it's finally here. Tesla and The Boring Company are partnering up to solve humanity's biggest urban crisis. Say goodbye to showing up late for job interviews or missing that important flight because your Uber driver had to take a longer route to beat the commute. Elon Musk could be on the verge of solving the world's traffic crisis right now. From the United States to India to South Africa, we're about to enter a whole new world where traffic blues might just become a thing of the past. But how does Elon Musk plan to merge The Boring Company with Tesla? And can he really Really pull it off. In 2016, Elon found himself stuck in LA's insane traffic for hours. I mean, imagine having billions to your name and that still isn't enough to escape LA's horrible traffic snarl-ups. Yep, like all of us, Musk was tired. So he decided to create a company that would work toward ending traffic nightmares in major cities once and for all. Fed up, he went on Twitter to announce that he was going to create a tunnel boring machine so powerful it would become the blueprint for uber fast underground travel. In December 2016, Musk wrote on Twitter, Traffic is driving me nuts. I am going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. A few days later, the boring company was born. Thanks to the creative input of his then wife, Tallulah Riley, who helped him come up with the name. At first, the company started out as somewhat of a joke department in SpaceX, but in 2018, Musk decided to separate it into its own entity after realizing the company's immense potential. However, his insane commitments to Tesla and SpaceX at the time made him spend only 3% of his working hours on the project, making it somewhat of a hobby. But with traffic becoming an increasingly crippling financial and economic problem, all that's about to change. In 2019, Musk wrote the tweet that would forever shift the course of the boring company. Defeating traffic is the ultimate boss battle. Even the most powerful humans in the world cannot defeat traffic. It was pretty unimaginable at first to see the boring company having any connections with Tesla, except for the fact that both companies shared the same leader. But as the traffic crisis continued to damage different sectors of the US economy, Musk suddenly had his eureka moment. Tesla has the potential to grow tremendously from the tunnel digging business once it partners with the boring company. In fact, this was a concept that Musk had been toying with even before 2019. For example, in a 2017 TED Talk, Musk wondered why the LA subway extension was just 2.5 miles long, yet it cost taxpayers over $2 billion to construct. This was way too expensive, and Musk was confident that the boring company could improve construction technology while greatly reducing costs. One of the innovative ways they would do this is by reducing the diameter of the tunnel to 26 feet for a single lane road. According to Musk, reducing the diameter by a factor of two would reduce the tunnel's cross sectional area by a factor of four, thereby reducing the cost of the tunnel by up to four times. Another serious issue facing tunneling machines was that despite spending all the time tunneling, they had to stop and put in an extra shift to install reinforcements before starting up once more. Yet, the boring company was optimistic that they would be able to speed up the tunneling process by a factor of two. Musk even said that they already did this thanks to their innovative in-house machine design, which has already increased the boring machine's power and thermal limit. Limits. They've also been able to automate the machine to minimize the number of human operators. And lastly, Musk aimed to solve the issue of removing debris and dirt dug up during the tunneling process. Not only was it time consuming, but it also cost about a sixth of the tunnel's budget. Musk has suggested that the dirt could be turned into bricks and sold for about 10 cents each to be directed towards affordable housing projects. The bricks could also be used to further reinforce the tunnels and ensure their sturdiness. While the company is still in its infancy, tunneling projects through them do have the potential to increase speeds by up to 10 times at only 1% of of the cost. A fine example of this is the Las Vegas Conventional Center Loop, or LVCC Loop, which was constructed for a mere $47 million. Yet despite its low cost compared to other government-based tunneling projects, it's well equipped with two tunnels and three stations, two on the surface and one on the ground, and it covers a distance of about 1.7 miles. The LVCC Loop Tunnel was constructed using the revolutionary Godot Tunnel Boring Machine. The Boring Company acquired the machine from Lovat, a Canadian company that happens to be a subsidiary of Caterpillar. The LVCC Loop was officially opened in April of 2021, a year on, and the Boring Company has made it clear that their technology is improving by leaps and bounds thanks to an in-house machine called the Proof Rod. This machine is reportedly five times faster than the original Godot that was acquired from Lovat. The new machine will significantly reduce tunneling costs by up to $10 million per mile, as well as operate at an impressive speed of one mile per week. This tunneling machine will also be powered by electricity instead of diesel, affirming Musk's strong commitment to clean 
clean energy. The machine also has continuous reinforcements for tunnel walls, meaning that no time will be wasted in between tunnel digs for reinforcements. Last but not least, the proof rock will be capable of doing a surface launch and taking a U-shaped path so that exit and entry to the tunnel all begin at the surface without having to dig separate entry pits. But while all this sounds good on paper, I'm sure you're wondering, what does this have to do with Tesla? Well, recent trial data shared by the Boring Company using 62 Tesla vehicles on the LVCC loop showed that the tunnel has a capacity of about 4,400 passengers per hour. This means that the tunnel will be capable of handling up to 100 100,000 people per day. Can you imagine what that will do for traffic? That aside, the trial also showed just how important Tesla EVs will be for the loop system in the near future. You see, the initial idea of the Boring Company was centered around a tunneling system known as the Hyperloop. This involved a series of underground tunnels that transported high-speed transportation vehicles over long distances to evade traffic. However, the idea of pressurized tunnels and the construction of specialized vehicle hardware proved too complex and expensive for the boring company to construct at the time. So Musk opted to adopt the loop concept, which was much simpler and could be brought to market much faster. The idea was to design a tunnel where vehicles could be loaded up on skates and fired through underground tunnels. However, the idea of having a vehicle perfect perfectly able to move itself loaded onto an electric skate sounded a little cumbersome, so Musk decided to ditch the concept of electric skates and adopt Teslas instead. One of the main features that favored Teslas is the fact that they had autonomous software that could control the car down to the millisecond level. This means that a driver simply had to have their autopilot feature on to position the car inside the loop and move it at high speeds. Currently, majority of the drivers operating the Hyperloop are human drivers, but Tesla is looking to increase time tunnel throughput dramatically in the future by shifting to autonomous software drivers, which will also reduce costs. In fact, this shift in drivers will be made all the more possible thanks to Tesla's full self-driving capabilities. That's why Tesla is looking to become the enabler that will spearhead the boring company to greater heights and vice versa. It will also be impossible for combustion engines to be used in tunnels such as the LVCC loop due to high ventilation requirements. Only electric vehicles like Tesla's will be allowed, and this move could see Tesla EVs become more desirable in the future as the idea of an interconnected loop system comes to light. While Musk has admitted that he would not like Tesla's EVs to have a monopoly over the market, it will be pretty difficult for other EV manufacturers to easily integrate their EVs into the loop system. It's pretty obvious that Musk would like to streamline the boring company's looping system with Tesla's autonomous driving software, right? This means that other EV manufacturers will have to either fully adopt Tesla's self-driving software to seamlessly enable passage through the loop system, or get into to a partnership with Tesla for a modified version of the software. Frankly speaking, we don't see any of these happening, so most people will probably have to buy Teslas to access the loop system. Because let's face it, Tesla might just be the only EV that will fully support all the loop system's capabilities. Tesla will also be the only EV company at the moment to offer point-to-point -point travel during a journey through the boring tunnels. Even if other EV companies do adopt a modified version of Tesla's FSD software for the loop system, what happens when you come to an exit? I mean, who wants to experience self-driving for a short time only to go back to driving the car once you're out of the loop tunnel? The advantage is that Teslas will be capable of taking you all the way home thanks to its tried and tested FSD technology. Using the tunnels will merely be a faster route for you. Since you don't have to worry about traffic and vehicles, we'll be able to move up to speeds of 150 miles an hour with autonomous driving. Now, isn't this exciting? Yes, this partnership could potentially solve the world's traffic crisis in the next decade. But as far as implementation goes, we'll just have to to wait and see how Musk goes about getting it done. For now, thanks for watching, and until next time, welcome to the future.